Hello, Eidolon tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV with me, Blink. We've managed to return to Rydia's home, and I think it's appropriate that we have Rydia, you know, lead the party, because she's the one that knows this place. And she's a little bit worried that perhaps the, the residents won't be too happy to have humans here besides her. Now, we did talk about this before, there was some weird timey-wimey stuff where Rydia was away for, like, I don't know, maybe a, a few weeks of our time, but uh, she grew up like 10 years. Everybody loves Rydia. She's pretty awesome. An entire city of Eidolons just don't pull a Kefka. And they do have their own society, yes, indeed. Alright, let's go talk to some of these people. Alright, we have indeed returned to steal all your loots. <laughs> so yeah, lots of treasure here. Buckaroos. Save for Rydia. Um, if I remember correctly, that teleporter, this this pad above us takes us out, which uh, we don't want to do just yet. But yeah, we'll, we'll go find the Eidolon King, don't worry. 5,000 Buckaroonies. So we're making good cash. Maybe it didn't take us out. Oh no, this is the one that takes us further in. The King Teleporter. A rat tail. Now that is very, very important. This is like if if you if you can't win the boss battles from the site the, the optional boss battles, just make sure you get that before you leave. <laughs> it's worth going through that last dungeon just for the rat tail. Now it's not like Final Fantasy One, where we all get uh, promotions thanks to that, which would be pretty awesome. But it's still pretty important for another side quest. It's been some time. I guess for them, like, she's been gone for like a few days, but maybe it's been years for them. Time passes strangely. The Eidolon King and his lady wife, Queen Asura. I, I, again, pronunciation is not exactly my thing. Asura, probably just gonna call it something like that. <laughs> Please don't blow up on me. Welcome! Accept my deals or pay the explosive. This is the stuff we want. The Aegis Shield. If I remember, this does protect you against instant death. Thank you, uh, thank you very much. No elemental defense, but good. Also, Luminous Robe. Full upgrade for Rosa. Probably in other versions you'd want to buy too, because Rydia usually doesn't come with you. Anyway, that's some pretty good armor. They don't have a lot of stuff, but it's also worth the trip. Ah, uh, look at that defensive stats. Very good. At the very least, he should be immune to being turned to stone. That's a typical um, Aegis Shield edition. But it generally protects you against some status ailments in most versions. So, the Luminous Robe unfortunately does not increase her spirit stat. I think we'll need to get a White Mage's Robe or something like that eventually. Um, but for now, it just gives you more defense, which is worth it. Um, it's great for our, our summoner, it's just not quite the perfect gear for a Quiet seclusion. Well, we do have a good reason. We're trying to save the world. And remember, I think Golbez knows how to use Eidolons as well. He's done summons. He summoned Dark Dragon, which I have to assume is an Eidolon. So, you know, you guys are at risk too, right? Yeah, all manner of trouble. Maybe, in fact, all of the monsters that we fight are Eidolons, for all I know. And then Golbez summoned everything. That'd be kind of a crazy thought, actually. Weapon shop, always valuable. What do we get? Give me goodies. I'll even pay. I got money. Actually, I don't have a lot of money, but... So, you can see the tiers of whippage here. We're all the way up to the, the Blitz Whip. Um, we could buy Angel Arrows. Further establishing that getting the rare drop for Angel Arrows is completely useless. Um, Aura Staff would raise her stamina a little bit, I believe. But we already have one. So there's not a whole lot of weapons to buy. It, the Kotetsu, we've already got equivalent. Um, you know, if you like using a whip on Rydia, go for the Blitz, but it's, it's probably not that good, in, good of a deal. And I know I only have 40,000 gil. I haven't sold anything. I've got lots of stuff stocked up that I can sell. Also, this reminds me, I forgot to equip a weapon on, on uh, Edge here. 
We got a second Iku, Kiku Ichimonji. And it's better than the Blue Ring Blade by a mild degree. I don't know. It's moderately better. Lose a little bit of speed, do a little bit more attack. It's not going to make much difference. Um, also, we had a Poison Axe last episode. I forgot to check out. It is, in fact, probably better than the, po than the uh, Ogre Killer. More damage, a little bit more strength and stamina, a little bit less speed, intellect, spirit. But still, might as well give that to Kane just to max out his damage if we can. Are you sure you can wield them? I'm pretty sure humans know how to wield whips and some swords and some arrows and staff. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, you, the king won't listen to us until we beat his wife. It's kind of interesting. We'll go to the library last for a variety of reasons. Namely, one. These are her friends, after all. We went from destroying her village to becoming her friends. Also, in this version, maybe not other versions, this is an important house. This is White's home. Now, if you've been continuing the naming way subquest, side quest, I believe you meet him here, or somewhere around here, but we failed to find the Rainbow Pudding, so we've fallen behind on that side quest by a significant margin. Anyway, first off, we loot. Grab loots, say hello to White. Exactly. Thanks, Rhea. I am White's father always looking after him. Well, we did recently power him up, so I feel like that's appropriate. That's kind of why I did it. The White Kid. The buds from which all Eidolons bloom. So they're like... Well, baby Eidolons, I guess. Without having better terminology. Okay. Oh! -ho -ho! So you're the breeders! Oh, you dog, you. <laughs> and uh, to be fair, the white we take around is actually quite strong. Maybe not Bahamut strong, but he's pretty good. How's your mom? I have no idea. <laughs> this is White's mother. She must have an awful lot of children. It's kind of an interesting premise. Oh, she's been sleeping for a long time. She's had too many kids. She needs a break. We're sh pretty sure she'll wake up someday. Maybe there's a side quest. Maybe. Um, first off, I guess we could actually go to the inn first. Get our MP back. You're gonna want to be at full strength pretty quickly. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready. Oh, hey, Chocobo. Is it strange for you to hear me speak? Slightly. Do Chocobo in, like, I guess Eidolon Chocobo are different than Monster Chocobo or Animal Chocobo that live in forests? I wonder how Ifrit is. Hot headed as ever. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, we know that trick. Quake and Titan do nothing if you're flying. Very good. Chocobo, Shiba, Ramu. All the rest reside here. Not all the rest. There is one who does not. Wow, that's expensive. I didn't even check. 1200 gil. Most expensive inn ever. Possibly cheaper to just buy a cottage. <laughs> In fact, I maybe they'll sell one here. Oh, look. <laughs> what a rip off. No, they don't sell them here. Um, I was actually hoping to just buy, like, some Phoenix Downs. Oh, Light Cordons are pretty good, too. I believe there's an item that casts Reflect on the entire group. That's the one that's really good. Any, I any of these items that cast it on the entire group, those are the amazing things. The ones that just single target, it's not much better than your normal spells. All right, let's go to the library and read some books. Don't worry, there's more exciting things to be had than just books. Can 
<laughs> Hush. You're the one yelling at me with the exclamation marks. Pretty quiet. Mages known as summoners call forth eyebonds. There aren't very many left, that's true. What? Titan, the Earth Reaver. I like Titan. It's good. Good. He freed the Infernal. Okay. We're learning all about our summons. There remains Eidolons that no summoner has ever learned to call. Ooh, I wonder who those are. Ramu, the Elder Justicar. That's true. A lot of times he has sort of like scales of, of, of law or something, whatever that lore is for him. The Noble Chocobo. Have I even summoned him a single time? It's not that good. I think it can cause you to just run away from battle, which is why I never use it. It's kind of random effects, basically. I don't know what a Chiliad is. Must be like a, a term of time. Some number of years, perhaps. I don't know. Have humans mastered the music game? Well, oh, we're not that far off. Come on, guys. Some of you that are watching probably know how to read and write. Give not your power lightly, lest it be used for ill. Like Golbez? I don't think they get a choice, I just think Golbez beats their butt, and then he can summon them. Isn't that how it works in all games, though? It's not like they choose the noble, it's like you beat them in battle, and then they're your slave. For most of them. Most versions. Odin the Reaver. Oh, I forgot about Odin. We'll be able to do that one later. I should have already done that, actually. I totally forgot the last time we were on the Only once has he known defeat, when lightning struck his fearsome blade. Well, to be fair, it's easier to save Odin for later. The earlier you do it, the harder it is, and there is a special item you want to get from him that takes a lot of work. Alright, the Lord of All Waters. Is that Poseidon? No, it's something else. Esura, Queen of the Islands. Okay. You need wit. Yeah, okay, this gives you a hint at how perhaps to defeat Asura. Twin moons. Hmm, so we didn't used to have two moons in the sky. Hmm, interesting. Perhaps a little bit of plot there. See, libraries are good. Oh, wait, hold on, I missed the first page. Let me try this again. The Hollowed Father. I wonder who that is. The first sire, the Hallowed Father of all idols. Watches over his children from on high, even capital H as though he's a god. He has never known defeat. None could hope to emerge victorious against him. Well, perhaps we will have something to say about that. The whale leapt from the moon that had begotten it. No sooner was it swallowed by the dragon. So the dragon has been referenced perhaps well it's complicated if you know the story already it makes sense but if you don't I don't know how you figure this out it is a question old as old, old as anything sylphs we saw the sylphs okay maybe one day we'll be able to summon sylphs Hi, King and Queen. Well, King. All right. So, as they've said, if you try to talk to this guy, he doesn't. He's just some feeble old man. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, I recommend you know making a proper save or having an emulator do it for you. But uh, these can be difficult battles. Your Majesty, hello, Queenie. We have needed your strength. And you see, like, Noble Spirit, okay, I'll lend it to you. 
but you have to beat me in battle first. <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe you, you're not even allowed to challenge them unless you're noble. Anyway, she grew some arms and got some weapons. Also a few faces. So, but you want to take this one carefully. Ah, alright. So, no, no, not auto battle. Don't even try that. Alright, so, as you may be noticing right off the bat, she cast Kuriga on herself. The trick is to have it reflect back. And because we have dual cast, we can also remove protect and then cast Reflect and never have her protect herself again. So this is how we do it. So usually you would only cast Reflect on your guys. But, uh, there's, some, there's some things here. Now, in um, like the older versions, um, just casting Berserk or something would work. I think in this one you have to use Reflect specifically. We're gonna have Cecil Defend. Because I think anything you do to her has a counterattack. If I remember correctly. So like if Edge attacks, she should have a physical counter. Oh, I should have cast slow. It's possible that slow would have been better than removing protect. I don't know. Or I could have tried to get both of them. Or we could cast well yeah, you know, now that I think about it. This is getting this is getting like next gen tactics here. Oh wait, she casts... No, she casts Protect on Rydia. Okay. We're gonna reflect Rydia and then slow on her. We're gonna be doing all kinds of crazy stuff in this battle. Um, we're slow. Slow, slow, slow. And because Rydia will be reflected, it will bounce onto uh, Asura and it will not be countered. Or, yeah, it should not be countered. Now, we're gonna dispel Reflect on Rydia probably. Although we may apply a couple status debuffs first. Plus some frames for something. Well, she healed Rania pretty good there. Maybe I could leave. I mean, you could definitely get reflect on all your people and then cast magic on them that you reflect back onto her, which isn't the worst idea. Also, I suppose you know. I'd like to lever her, and we have to reflect to get that. So, okay, so there's the counterattack. Alright, and you see, even with protect, or with... Cecil has ref has protect, and he was defending, and it still did 800 damage. She hits really, really hard. Right, we'll summon, or we go analyze. I just want to make sure. Yeah, she absorbs a lot of stuff. Lightning, ice, fire, water, wind... So not Earth, but I think she floats? I'll try, but I bet you she's... Because she's in the air, kind of, I bet you that's not going Also, we should probably be throwing shurikens. What else would I want to debuff here? Well, let's see what Titan does first. We're going to get some counters. We're going to have to heal Cecil up. Oh, I know what I should put on Cecil. Blink. I haven't shown that off yet. Blink is really good. Alright, did that do any damage? 2,000. Okay, so so Titan did work. It wasn't super effective. And she still gets a counterattack. Uh, which is pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> I, w I didn't think she'd get a physical attack to a counter... To a, a physical counter to a magic attack. Shows what I know. Anyway, we've got to get Cecil up and healed up. Oh, that's right! We can't. Yeah. Alright, everyone's just going to defend for a minute here. No more attacks. Until Cecil is alive and well. We need to get him strong. Hopefully this will give him... Oh, right, I just... <laughs> i got to get the spell off. i got to get Reflect off, really. i got to cast the spell off. Okay, she didn't counter it. No, she did. It just took her a while. Holy smokes! Okay, someone else. I uh, I forgot to defend. <laughs> Wowzers! I told you she hits hard. All right. So more importantly than the protect, Link is gonna work better. I promise. 
Wow, that one hit real hard. So I don't think Edge is going to be able to do much. I think I want to save the attacks from Kane, basically. This battle is going to take a little while. Anyway, Blink will give some number of automatic evades. I can't remember exactly the number. Is she no longer reflected? Slow pro Oh, reflect more off. All right, well we gotta we gotta re restore reflect on her because uh, she'll start healing herself up. And as you can tell, it's very difficult to do much damage to her. Yeah, okay, reflect doesn't last for that's fine. Let's give everybody protect. All right, Queen can jump. Some status elements, protect, shell, cry, those kind of things, they seem to last forever, but, um, but things like reflect do not, which is fine. Alright, everyone's at full health. We've used one blink so far with Cecil, right, where he got an evasion. I think we can, as long as I keep him blinked up, we should be able to attack with both Kane and Okay, so it gets two. This one's gonna... Oh, we killed him. Ah, oh, we got her. Alright, well it took me a fair while to remember how to set that up, but yeah. Definitely get Cecil on Blink, and then slow and reflect on uh, Asura. There we go. It actually wasn't that bad, but... That's because I mostly knew what I was doing. <laughs> that battle is... If you don't cast Reflect on her, really, really difficult. She counters everything, and she heals herself, so you can't get much damage on her. Ha! <sighs> and they knew my secret weakness. <laughs> and now we have the Asuna summon, which unfortunately we won't use very often, because we're about to get a much better summon. Now, before we talk to the old man, who's totally nobody, you're definitely going to want to go heal up and save. Because if you thought that one was hard, you ain't seen nothing yet. So, basically, just go heal up. In fact, I remember, not necessarily on this version for sure, but in other versions, especially when I was younger and not so smart, um, I remember being able to beat Azura relatively reliably, but then having to leave and come back to finish the second fight later on, because it was just too much. Now, I'm still not 100% sure, but I believe cottages may actually be cheaper than tents at this or er, cheaper than uh, the inn at this point. Let's make our big daddy save. There we go. And I mean, because we are, like, above level 50, we are certainly prepared for this phase of the game. In fact, I'm sure people have beaten the game at lower levels than this, all the way to the final, final boss. But, um... You know, I'm not I'm not doing a low level run, I'm just doing a for fun run. I'm not trying to level grind, but you know, if you get the levels, you get them. Usually for these let's plays I only level grind if I'm really having a hard time. Okay, uh, let's just do another quick save down here just to save some time. Oh, also, just for Insura's sake. So Riddy is thankful for learning by Asura. Asura, Queen of the Eidolons, nearly a goddess in this world. of grace and benevolence. Yeah, and she's got four arms and four giant swords. So if you tick her off, she kicks your butt. Grace. Very, very graceful. What form of creature might the idol on? Just as creepy? That's funny. Rosa thinks she's graceful. Edge just thinks she's creepy. Interesting. Alright. The first and only to best my lady queen. Apparently no one's ever beaten Asura before. Interesting. But strength of arm alone will aid you little in the face of true evil. <laughs> Alright. So he won't just join us. He has to fight us first. Say hello to Leviathan. This guy packs a punch. Rosa, quick. 
doing cast. First off, we're gonna want probably to heal. Yeah. So we're gonna go shell to take a little bit of the edge off. It doesn't do much, but it'll help. Kirija to heal. And we're gonna use. Oh, right. Cecil doesn't have slow. I should have used shell on Cecil. I forgot. I missed the button. Well. Probably. Goodbye no, here. Do we have an item for slow? Just to save me some pain. We should. It'll be like Spider Silk. Now, the Spider Silk is almost a waste in this situation because it multi targets, but I need to get this guy slowed down. And we're about to learn what his weakness is. He is weak against lightning, like all fish. So we have a choice between Ramu, 30, or Thundaga. We'll test them both. We'll see which one does more. Well. Now, I don't believe you can reflect... Um, I don't believe you can reflect Deluge. You might be able to reflect that one. On the other hand, that one doesn't do very much. So, it's really the Deluge you have to watch out for. Okay, 7,500 is random. Remember that. I'll try, Blitz. Just gonna try to keep everyone talked up. Get King out of the way so he doesn't get hit. So what does Blitz do? Eh, not much. Shurikens are better. Shurikens are almost always better than the uh, Ninjutsu attacks. Alright, let's find out if Thundaga can defeat. It says 110 attack. It's probably not as good. But you might be able to cast it faster, I don't know. Well, let's do a throw here. So we did 1500 with um, the Blitz. Let's try a Shuriken this time. Also, keep in mind. Yeah, so Ramu is definitely considerably better. If I can kill him before his next Deluge, we're doing really well. I, if I remember correctly, he has a very set attack pattern. He's gonna use like one of each spell and then um, and then go back to Deluge if I remember correctly. It's like it's it's pretty pretty basic AI. So if you can kill him quickly, and that's like you know, I kind of wasted a turn, sort of, by uh, using Blizzaga and Blitz. And of course, casting slow on him is always the big win. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna keep Rosa on- oh, I don't even need it. Yeah, that was really quick. We did a lot of damage real fast. He only managed one Deluge. I was gonna keep Rosa on uh, standby for heals, but uh, no, we, we crushed him. I think most of it was Rydia and her big spells, honestly. Fast talking plus a lot of intellect. Great combo. It's actually a battle you could probably use quite pretty effectively. Because you could set him up with Thundaga, which is pretty good. Plus he has 99 intellect and 99 speed. So he would probably cast Thundaga very quickly many times in a row. And that might be a really good... Uh, in fact, now that I think about it, I should have tried it. Um, I don't think there's a fat chocobo here in the Eidolon world though. So I would have had to set it up at the beginning of the video. Or last week, maybe last week. The point is, sometimes white is effective, and I think I just thought of one where he would have been really good. You can try it at home. Tell me if it works. I think it's a good idea. Indeed, you bear the light. I actually crush that guy way quicker than Asura, which is hilarious, because usually he's much harder. I think I'm used to Deluge killing, like, three people, and then you spend half your time resurrecting people, and then you cast Deluge again by the time everyone's back up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, we soaked it. High enough level, basically. Alright, anyway, that's a, a really good summon. Leviathan is... is amazing. <laughs> We're gonna love Leviathan. He is, in fact, the one who swallowed us whole, or swallowed her whole. How long have they dwelt here? Given the strange time. <laughs> They're just pretty happy. Pretty is pretty happy. All right, good times. Well, I think we're basically done in the land of Eidolons, Fate Mark. Um, obviously, we're gonna have to come back for the Naming Way side quest and possibly for the finishing of White's Mum's stuff, if I can remember it. Um, let me just double check the exit if I if I got this correct. I'm pretty sure. I might as well show you how you get out, basically. Forget it. 
forget where even the entrance was. I think it's maybe top right. Yeah, I went to the armor shop first. I must have come from right here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I go to... Oh, wait, no, I'm missing something. No, I know where they are. Okay, I was like, I'm missing a weapon for Rosa that I know is in the Fae Mark, and I always get it, but I always forget it until the very end because I, I'm about to leave and I think I missed it, but I could have gotten it earlier. You'll see. It'll all make sense in about a second. I forgot that that teleporter didn't just exit. The blue one will completely exit, but I forgot that we could come here and get some treasure first. There we go. Yoichi, Yoichi, an elixir, a dry ether, and the Yoichi bow. I think it's the second best or third best bow in the game. There's like a rare drop bow eventually in the last dungeon, but it's pretty good. And it finally buffs her accuracy so that you can use normal attack and not um, miss all the time. Like, well, miss a quarter of the time. So with that, and what does Yoichi do? It just does damage. So we're losing out on Confuse, but it maxes her accuracy. So at this point, it would be wise to switch off of Aim the way I see it. Because if I remember correctly, Aim just adds time to give you 100% accuracy. Well, we've already got 100% accuracy, we might as well just attack a little bit quicker if you're gonna do that, right? Plus, 100 attack, you know what that reminds me of? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Rosa can do almost as much damage as, uh, as Edge. She's pretty awesome. That's why I almost always keep her with a bow and arrow. Rydia can just max out her intellect and use magic, but Rosa, she's all about the bow. All about that bow. Anyway, we're done our side questing adventures for now. Next episode, we'll continue on with the plot in here, and I'll heal up. Actually, yeah, I'll heal up off camera. So thanks for watching folks, hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.